What's going on, YouTube? It's me, that other guy, SF. I am back yet again to prove to the YouTube world how another claimed world record speedrun is as fake as his popularity. His name is that other guy, SF, and he claimed a third speedrunning record of beating the Wall of Flesh in Terraria in a whopping 3 minutes and 1.106 seconds. Let's waste no time dilly-dallying and get straight into the calling out. Hey, what's going on? So basically, here he is with his annoying little intro he always does. I'll just uh, do us all a favor and skip to where the blatant cheating happens. With a bit of luck, we found the gear we just... Just take a look at the items in that chest, folks, and tell me the second you look at them, if they're legit items he could find, 42 seconds in the game. I'll just go down the line of items and explain how to acquire them. Needed. A pea gun. So the pea shooter is actually from uh, the Wacky Weapons mod on uh, T-Mod Loader. It's made by Chair. Thank you, Chair, even though, you know, your mod was used for a fake speedrun, and uh, for that, I am sorry you got dragged into this. Magiluminescence. Magiluminescence is actually a, uh, a craftable. It's not something that you could just find. The rock. Another item that you could find from the Wacky Weapons mod. Great stuff, by the way. Life crystals. Life crystals can only be found naturally uh, underneath the underground layer. Or golden or titanium crates, which... Look at that chest and tell me if that is one. Guess what? It's not. Mana crystals. Mana crystals are craftables. They take five fallen stars for PC Terraria. So if he has 91 mana crystals, he found 455 fallen stars. Guess what? He didn't. Lava waders. Lava waders are a craftable that can be done through the Tinkerer's Workshop. He doesn't even make a Tinkerer's Workshop. I mean, he's 40 seconds in the game. What do you think? A solar flare armor set. These items show how bad his cheating really is. The Solar Flare item set is post Moon Lord armor. That's the Moon Lord is is end game. That's all the way at the end, and we're here at the Wall of Flesh. It's 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 embarrassing. It really is. And of course, the most important item, Monkey JPEG. Monkey JPEG is a wacky weapons item. It serves absolutely zero purpose. He he's just trying to be funny, and let me tell you, he's failing miserably. Now, I'll save y'all some of the pain of watching this speed run, and we'll just skip over to where the next cheat happens. It's, it's not too far, but I'll just save y'all the trouble. I have the utmost confidence that we can do this cave jump without dying. Now, you may ask yourself... Oh, I have something to ask you, that other guy, SF. What was that?! He literally just died and poorly cut and edited it to seem like he didn't die right there. This speedrun isn't even a single clip, which it is, of course, supposed to be. That's what makes it a speedrun. That's what makes it legit, is that you can very clearly see it all in one clip to ensure they're not cheating. That other guy, how do you perform such amazing speedruns? Well, the answer is simple. Literally the same thing we just discussed. I envision the success I want, and then I perform. It's really as easy as that, folks. I find a totally natural cave that went all the way from the overworld all the way to the underworld. All I have to do is stick the landing, which, of course, I managed to do with precision and accuracy. Now, I could say pretty confidently, there's no such thing as a naturally spawning elevator. He dug it out pre-speedrun. Secondly, he dies a third time! And he decides to give himself some wings to, to just magically stick the landing. He didn't even have wings earlier. Now he just magically does. The final objective is to find and locate a voodoo doll to sacrifice the guy to begin the... I'm not even gonna pause for this one. He has another post-Moon Lord weapon, another modded weapon, and literally almost 10,000 freaking voodoo dolls. All right, it's not legit. Now, I'm not even gonna give that other guy SF the satisfaction of us watching him defeat the Wall of Flesh. He does it in like 23 seconds, so we're just gonna speed right on through it. 
I'm sorry to all legit Terraria speedrunners out there, that other guy SF claims to be at the top of the mountain, which of course he isn't, so just ignore him. Now, I have a surprise for both you and that other guy SF. Little does he know, but I actually have his contact information. So, let's go ahead and give him a ring, shall we? Hello there, that other guy, SF. Are you aware of the blatant speedrunning scandals you've been pulling? Oh, not you again. Listen, that other guy, SF. Stop trying to ruin my career. I'm just looking to be the fastest in the game and attract some viewers along the way, okay? You can't be the fastest. You cheat way too much. Speedrunning takes skill. All you have is your cheap parlor tricks. T cheap tricks? They're totally legit. I watch your videos, and I think you're reaching for air, buddy. By the way, your accent's horrible, and God didn't save the queen. How dare you? God saved the queen, and my videos are actual content, you little wanker. You wish your videos were actual content. You're no better than reaction YouTubers, you little leech. The nerve to call me a leech when he is sucking on the innocent blood of the speedrunning community. Well, there you have it, folks. He claims another speedrun, gets angry when called out, and will probably come out with some sappy apology video within a week. Now, if you enjoyed me destroying that other guy SF's career, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will form back up when he tries another speedrun.